It is our pleasure on behalf of the Robotech Group, which was a group uh, comprises nine hospitals in Spain and one in Portugal. Uh, we gather all the radical uh, robotic hysterectomies between 2009 till 2018 and we were able to analyze all the surgical data but also comparing the quality indicators published by the ESGO and we get some interesting conclusions. Uh, the first one is that uh, despite the approach, the surgical approach was the same, that was robotic, we observed two different outcomes regarding two groups of hospitals. So it allows us to conclude that not only matters the surgical approach, so there were different factors which can mm, have identified and that's why we tried to do. And we identified that uh, a proper preoperative assessment with an MRI, which was the most reliable uh, tool, uh, was important and was related with better outcomes. Uh, also to have, uh, to have a higher surgical volume uh, for those centers where it was also related with better outcomes. Um, to have a fast learning curve with better outcomes, especially on the beginning of two years uh, since the introduction of robotic program uh, was also related with better outcomes. To perform the SLN technique and to be involved in ongoing clinical trials um, was also associated. And yeah, they were the, the most relevant uh, factors that was uh, associated with uh, better outcomes in cervical cancer.